I'm putting on my top hat. So this lovely lady has brought me a hat from the 20s to say my, uh, oh my, my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law. Who is in Cape Breton. From Leeches Creek. So from Leeches Creek, Cape Breton, came this beautiful Rolf Stetson Stratocaster, which is actually the felt in it. It's beautiful. I know it. And you figure it's from the 20s? I, I know it is. So I'm going to give her some advice on how to refurbish yes. this uh, beautiful, beautiful piece of hat. So you can see that it's a, a light fawn color, right? Right. What you want to do is take um, either a corn meal, corn flour and corn meal, and rub that, take a box, fill it with cornmeal and, and, and corn flour, and rub and rub and rub and rub. It's going to act like an absorbent oil. Okay. First, dust it off. Right. And rub as much as you can that way. You can take um, a loaf of Wonder Bread. Okay. A loaf of Wonder Bread. I'm sure you can find it on the Wonder anywhere. But that Wonder Wonder okay. Bread is great because you know when you're kids and you roll the yeah. bread in your hands, it's yeah. all the dirt off your hands. Well, yeah. That's the same thing. Oh, okay. All right. um, natural fibers. So after you've done the uh, cornmeal, rub Wonder Bread right. in and then brush it all off and see how far you go. Now you can try. I would just keep doing that and then basically you've got the hat to where it is. And now in the old days, the very old days, what they would have done is use kerosene. Yeah. Ooh. Now, if you're brave enough to use kerosene and then keep the hat outside on the back porch until it smells good again, then you can, you can, um, you can clean felt that way. Yeah, no, I don't want to use kerosene. But that's a very old hat. The cornmeal in the flour, I didn't know about it. Okay, can you see what I'm doing with my hands? Yes. That's, that's after you get all the cleaning right. done. Then you then you would steam after. Um, and what I'm doing right here is I'm just feeling the felt to see where it's been stretched by handling and fingering. Yep. And I'm kind of pushing it and pulling it back into its original blocking. That would be hand blocking. Because what you want to eventually get is the nice curl that's yes. all the way around, the nice even curl, and then you will be able to snap the boom again. Right. Um, and then this you would steam very just in a round going. I mean, she wore this fishing <laughs> and ice fishing in the winter with a tooth under and you know, I mean, she wore this and wore well, this. Well, we can feel the felt. It's really a beautiful color. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go with chamois. Yeah, it's a gorgeous hat. I mean, I, I love this hat, mm -hmm. but I mm -hmm. don't want to nice Thank you very much. You're okay, welcome. so now, if I play with it for a couple of months and don't get it where I want it, can I bring it back? Of course, you, you can bring it back tomorrow. Well, I mean, I mean, you have professionals who do this, perhaps? We're all professionals. Made, I just take, gave you everything that you possibly need to know uh, about your hat. Everything I need hat. to know, I just heard. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much yes. for your time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Dancing in my tent.